We are going right into the application. So I have the Skin Optimizing Primer. And all of the packaging is like this nude kind of packaging, which is really pretty. I like it. It's simple, you know. And this is, I believe, oh yeah, this one's the one for norm, normal to uh, oily skin because that is what I am. So what does it say? I want to read the instructions. Smooth evenly over face for best results used with the foundation. So we're going to take a little bit, uh, like that amount. And I don't smell anything. I know it says put all over the face. Um, but I just really get oily here, like in my nose area. So I'm going to just put it there in my T zone, T zone area situation. Let's get a close up. Um, I actually think my pores look pretty good. Yeah, my pores, they look, they're not like super blurred or anything, but they definitely look, um, like softer, I would say. All right. So that is that. <laughs> and then the foundation shade, I got the shade L30. Now when I was looking on, there's not like a ton, a ton of colors but let me pull it up because I don't remember how many colors there are or shades rather there's 32 shades of this foundation and when I was trying to shade match online which is always like really really difficult yeah so I wanted a neutral undertone and the lighter one in a neutral undertone was L15 and I just thought it was going to be a little bit too light so I got L30 which I think is going to be a little bit too dark <laughs> So we're going to have to fix it a little bit with concealer, but that's fine. It's again the squeezy tube, just like the primer. Um, just going to squeeze a little bit in the back of my hand. Yeah, that's going to be too dark, but it's fine. It'll probably be okay in the summer. Um, but right now I'll have to mix it. Well, not today because I want to do a true wear test, but... Um, Okay. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, and I think it might be a little bit lighter coverage, so I think we might be okay. So I'm just going to spread this on with this ColourPop brush for now. And then I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender and just do this side with the blender. It's fairly light coverage um, because I can definitely see almost everything <laughs> coming through. So I'll do a little close up. I think you can see freckles, darkness. I don't have acne on this side today really, um, but it, obviously it's over here. So we'll see how that covers over there. But it's, it's a nice finish. I'm going to do a little bit more. And I'm not mad at the color yet, unless it oxidizes. But so far, it's about, this is about two pumps now. Um, so it's not, a little doesn't go a long way. Um, yeah, I just want to kind of cover a little bit more here. I don't think really covered any more, but it didn't get like cakey when I applied more. So I'm just going to take the rest of that pump and do this side and get my uh, brush out that I want to use. Need a little bit more. All right, so that's about three pumps. I would say I 
I think this does oxidize just a little bit. Um, I don't feel like I'm orange yet, <laughs> but you never know. Might happen still. Okay. So I'm going to use, what brush am I going to use? I'm going to use this one. This is from BoxyCharm. Um, I got it in a BoxyCharm, but it's also like their brand and it's just like a dense brush and I used it yesterday um, and I really, I, I'm not, I've used it like a couple times, but yesterday I used it and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm just going to do that. I think both sides look pretty much the same. I don't think it really matters if you use a brush or a sponge because I'm not getting, I don't feel like I'm getting a, a lot more coverage on the brush side. So these are where my problem spots were. And they're definitely still visible, but they're like a little bit softened. Okay, I'm going to go just a little bit more and try to get a little bit more coverage where I need it. But overall, this looks beautiful. My concern, if I'm being honest, is that this is going to be very geared for drier skin. And throughout the day, I'm going to get very oily. So I'm a little nervous about that. Um, we'll see. I'm just going to go over with the sponge. Okay, so that looks really, really nice. Um, which is so good. I'm very happy. Just going to run down my neck, make sure kind of blends in with the rest of my face. Yeah, I don't think I really covered more with that second layer on this side. But yeah, I think this looks beautiful. I'm glad I got this shade because it is a little bit dark as you can tell, but I think a lighter shade would have been a little bit too light. So yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm going to wear concealer because I thought I was going to have to with the shade. But I'm okay with the shade for now. I don't mind it being a little bit dark. Um, so I'm going to powder. And I bought the shade Light One in the powder. And there's only five shades, I believe, for the powder. And... I got the latest one because I thought that the second one looked really, 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 really pink online and I didn't want to look pink. So that is the shade and it is very fair. Um, so we're just going to take a big fluffy brush and set everything down. And I'll do one half first and then we'll see how that compares to the other side. And this, I also thought if I got a lighter shade that that would help if the um, color was too dark. So, see, there's a there's a method. It also comes with this little like spongy guy. I don't really, you know, use these things. But this is the side of powder, and my face feels so smooth. Like it's literally like so smooth. It doesn't look powdery at all. So far, this is like looking so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited. Okay, I'm gonna just powder the rest of my face. Um, and, all right, Lola is being so loud. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm loving how my skin looks right now. There's a little bit of fallout from my eyeshadow on my nose, but uh, other than that, everything blended beautifully on top, which uh, I, I say that with a grain of salt because I feel like when you powder your face anyway, it's going to blend on top. Um, but yeah, so I'm really liking my makeup today. I just wish there was a little bit more coverage down here. Maybe if they had come out with a concealer, um, this spot would have been, you know, handled. But this is what we're looking like. I'll do a close up.
Okay, so that is that right now. I'm gonna do a shot in natural lighting and then we'll take you with me throughout the day. I did not do a time check, uh-oh. It's 10.23 right now, um, so I probably was putting on my other makeup for about 15 minutes or so, so we'll call the check-in time like 10, 10-ish, give or take. Um, so yeah, but I will see you in a little bit. Okay, here I am in natural lighting. Yeah, I feel like it looks really, really good. So yeah, I'll do my first check-in in a couple hours. Okay guys, I'm like outside. We're at like a family lunch or dinner for birthdays. So this is what the foundation's looking like so far. I am getting a little bit greasy, but nothing insane. I think it's wearing really well. I do think it got a little bit darker as the day's gone on, but and it's worn down on just a little bit here, but it looks really good still, so. All right, so it is 8.09 p.m. Um, I am doing my final check-in. Today has been a day. <laughs> uh, I My car got an accident, someone hit me, so I just wanted to take off my makeup at this point. Um, but yeah, we are looking pretty good. I'm a little teeny bit oily. I'm a little oily around here so I don't know I have to try the foundation without the primer and see if the primer really helped to control the oils because I am a little shiny my forehead looks pretty good my I feel like my chin looks a little bit heavy and it's definitely rubbed off you can definitely see my acne coming through a little bit more now um, but other than that I think it wore really really well so I mean, my nose looks a little bit heavy here, but that's because of the oil. So I want to try the powder, see if it can work as like a blotting powder, or if it would look not so great. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be the best. Let me try a brush, because it looks a little bit heavy. Not sure how I'm liking that as a blotting powder. But I feel like my face was pretty comfortable all day. It's only like recently that I can tell I have makeup on. Um, but I really think my pores looked like great throughout the day. So I think that this is like an A+. Plus. I'm going to keep testing these out. Um, and I'll probably, so it's Sunday right now. I'll probably have this video up on Thursday. So I'll, I'll test it out for the rest of the week. And I'll leave a comment down below. Um, or like in the description about how I liked it. But so far so good. I really, I really think this is great. Um, yeah, so that concludes this video. <laughs> Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know any requests you have down below. I know a couple other, like, foundation products have come out. There's the Hourglass, um, Vanish Concealer. There's the Origins Foundation. So if you want to see any of that stuff, let me know. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <music>